So a question I get asked by a lot of church leaders is what they should have on their YouTube banner image. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you the two things I think every church should have on their YouTube banner image. But before I get to that, my name is Dave Adamson and I've been an online pastor since 2008, including seven years with Andy Stanley's North Point Church in Atlanta. And my goal with these videos is to help your church reach more people so you can change more lives. So what are the two things every church's YouTube banner image should include? Well, I believe the first one should be a photo of your building. See, the chances are for a lot of people, their first connection with your church will be through a YouTube video. And by having a photo of your building on your YouTube banner image, you're giving people the opportunity to know they're in the right place if they ever decide to visit your church. Now, I know a lot of churches will want to use a glamour photo from inside their sanctuary, maybe with the band on stage and all the lighting and maybe a single hand up in worship. But for somebody who's visiting for the very first time, the first thing they need to know is that they're in the right place. And if they've connected with your church through YouTube, having a photo of your building on the YouTube banner images lets them know where they're supposed to be. The second thing every church should have on their YouTube banner image is a call to action. Now for some churches, this call to action may be an invitation for people to join them at their physical locations. In that case, your YouTube banner image should include your service times and your physical address. For others, you might wanna let people know when your online services are streaming. So you should include the time that your services are live streamed to YouTube. Or if you're a church that uploads a lot of content during the week, then you should include some information about when people can expect new content to go live. So there are the two things I recommend every church have on their YouTube banner image, a photo of your building and a call to action. If this video was helpful for you, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss an episode. And if you've got any questions about YouTube, church online, social media, or live streaming, make sure you leave it in a comment down below. I'll see you next time.